one of the fashion capitals of the world. But for everyday people, Sutton Streets can be anyone's catwalk. We're going to take a look into Sutton's fashion history and see just how much it's changed. A good way to see people's fashion in the borough is when they're out on the town. And on the streets of Sutton today, what are they wearing? That was the woman, but what were the men in Sutton wearing? I think fashion has changed a lot. Um, certainly in, in, in men's fashion, some of the colours that will, will be worn now, with you know, brighter colours, pinks and so forth, men at one time wouldn't be seen dead in, you know. So, yeah, it, it's changed a lot. Fashion was also used to show the uniformity of different groups of people. People from Sutton express themselves using extravagant and unusual fashion for special occasions such as family celebrations and weddings. Formal occasions I'll just wear like a normal shirt and jeans, nothing special. I'd probably wear a dress for a formal occasion, have it quite fitted at the waist and quite cut just above my knees. Dresses, Dresses yeah, yeah, quite dressy, dressy, big heels, big heels. Um, lots of makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Do people care so much about fashion? Is it really just about what you're wearing or is there something more to it? Yes, I care about fashion. I think it's important because it's someone's first image of you. Fashion is very important. <laughs> I care about fashion because I like um, express myself. I wouldn't say fashion is important, I'd say looking good is important. <laughs> people were judged on their looks. Some local women competed in beauty pageants. But do people still judge others on the way they look? I think, yeah, definitely people do judge others on what they wear, yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing, it's a natural thing. It's a human instinct to judge people on their appearance as opposed to the reality of them. Like, it's like chavs and emos, that sort of thing. Yeah. Like, people start fights because of what you're wearing. And... I'm a classical pianist, and sometimes I might dress like a punk, and people would think I'm a rock star, and I'm clearly not. The way you dress can show people what you think about the world and how you want to appear to the world. Well, there's kind of like different trends and stuff, like different groups. Like, many people like these days go for Topshop and all that sort of stuff. I'm not really into that at all. People think that our fashion is different to how it used to be in the past. Is it really as different as it is made out to be? <laughs> From the 30s to now. I think like you could you could say it changes, but I think most of it these days is just Re recycled from like old eras and everything. I don't think fashion has changed, no. I think it sort of comes around every once in a while. They went in for drain pipe trousers, waspy belts, what you're wearing these days quite a lot, ballet pumps. You're talking about the 50s. 60s and 70s. I guess that was my favourite time. I like the 90s, like to some of the crazy stuff they are into. In fact, a lot of the fashions have, are now round again for about the third time. 